Because if you can't write out the symbols, you cannot do your calculations. You, if you can't write it out, you cannot do your calculations, right? You need to know your U, your V, your A, your S, your T. And to put it in simple terms, if today this is your first ever lesson, um, you can think of like, so U normally we call it initial velocity, but you can think of initial velocity, okay? For now, la, you can think of it as like the starting speed, okay? If you are somebody who just don't understand the word velocity, you just cannot get the idea. Ah, never mind, you think of it as speed for now. Okay, it will work on, at least you are able to do some calculations, right? But the proper way of calling it is initial velocity. La. Initial means the starting. Nice. So a sector is what I always call as a pizza slice. Yeah, pizza slice. So in the previous topic, the new formula we learned is S is equals to R theta. But we know that there's a lot more to just S equals to R theta. We did things like the length of the chord. We did things like um, different triangle shapes, uh, Sokato and things like that, Pythagoras theorem amongst uh, some of those things. And I just want you to know that although the topic says we are learning length of arc in the, in the last subtopic, but we really are always looking for the perimeter if you notice the questions. Okay, in this chapter also the same, although the name of the chapter is area of sector only. Okay, we are going to learn this first formula. So you ignore the, other first, the others first. We are going to learn area of sector first. Okay, the name of the chapter is this, but mainly in this subtopic, we are dealing with um, all the area questions. Okay, so finding areas of different, different shapes. It doesn't always have to be your pizza slice. It doesn't always have to be a sector. Huh? 